people are concerned that the law isn't followed because they've heard allegations, but the law has to be followed by the state as well. And they had to bring this case before a preliminary examination within 10 days. They didn't do so. The defense attorney for one of the extremist Muslim suspects tied to a New Mexico compound where children were kept in squalor. The judge dismissing charges against three of them, ruling that authorities violated the state's 10-day rule. Ryan Cangelosi is the chairman of the New Mexico Republican Party. And I know that you have been on this from the beginning and feel very passionately about the decision the judge has made here. What was your reaction? Well, when I found out that the DA failed to schedule a preliminary hearing, something very simple, um, it just really infuriated me first and foremost because we have children who are living in very inhumane conditions. We also have another situation where they were tr being trained to kill other children, and now the judge is having to drop these child abuse charges is just indefensible. Why? Why, why did she do this? Well, because the DA failed to schedule a preliminary hearing within the 10 days. It, it was a rule that the DA should have followed. This is a complete failure on the part of this Democrat DA up in Taos County. And it truly is indefensible. Now, there are, um, when, when you bring politics into the picture, this is an elected Democrat, uh, the, the judge in this case. Um, the reforms to the detention system is what has played a big part here, and she attributes her decision to that. Well, what we're having here is that in the past legislative session, there was a law passed with regards to allowing people out on bonds, and we saw that earlier this month or uh, in August where we were all up in arms because the judge allowed the five defendants to go out on bond, which we were very frustrated by but now we have this other situation where the DA failed to just do a very simple procedure in um, scheduling a preliminary hearing and the judges hands are tied now both judges and they had to follow rule and allow or will drop these child abuse uh, charges which is just unbelievable to us Ryan, and this is just us a, a little complete bit more failure about, of the justice system. As I mentioned, you have been uh, speaking out very critically about this from the beginning. What do people need to know about the facts in this case and what we know about what was happening on that compound? Well, I'm glad that you asked that question. Here we have this case where we have a child who was kidnapped, taken onto this very inhumane conditions where they were raising these children training children how to kill other children going into schools to kill to kill law enforcement officers to go shoot up government buildings we have a child who was found dead and it was like a third world country they were caught they were then brought forth uh, by the prosecutors and the judge then at that point in time said that they weren't a danger to society and that's the other thing that caused a lot of frustration throughout new mexico throughout New Mexico. And regardless of being Democrat or Republican, we're New Mexicans and we want our children to be safe. And we take child abuse very seriously in this state. And to see these five now be uh, set free, well, that's not the, two are still being held because there was a child who was found dead. Right, and that was but the three-year-old three three child that, that, that was released the, yesterday. And, that, and that's key in this, and that, that child was found. He was uh, three years old. Health officials did confirm, uh, as we were reporting earlier this month, that the remains of that child were found. Um, the, the judge said this was a difficult decision. The charge has been dropped. Prosecutors say that they can still seek charges, though, here, Ryan, uh, for the three by asking a grand jury to indict them, uh, but no immediate indication of how they're going to proceed. How do you expect them to? Well, I hope that the DA does follow through and file new charges because you have the situation where kids were living in very inhumane conditions, like a third world country here in America. And so I think that all five need to go through trial and be held accountable for how these children were being treated. I think all of those, the thing that really is shocking to me is that there were five adults and we have a dead child. Yeah. And the three of them 
are being released or have been released. Two are still being detained because of the situation of a dead child. But that a child was brought, kidnapped, brought onto this camp, died, and none of the adults reported that is shocking. A lot of uh, a lot of people have been watching this story and, and are horrified by the conditions in which those children were living. Uh, and now this we will continue to follow all of that. Ryan Cangelosi, thank you. Thank you.